Welcome to the project demonstration of hybrid energy harvesting system using IoT. So here we are going to monitor and making power harvesting from the hybrid like one is the solar panel and another is a thermoelectric generator using the Peltier plate effect. So here the Peltier effect is used to generate the power whenever the heat was placed from one side and at the same time we need to make the cooling effect from the other side then only we can protect the Peltier plates from the heating and parallelly uh, that heat will be converted into the electrical energy and that will be provided as the input to the charging circuits parallelly voltage and current sensor here we are using that so this is the bug boost converter and after this bug boost converter the voltage is input to this voltage uh, controller charge controller and from there to the 12 volts 2 amps battery pack so if you see that there is a 6 batteries are connected in that 3 batteries are in series and these 3 batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp from this battery pack 1 and 12 volt 1 amp from this battery pack 2 totally 12 volts 2 amp and these two are in connected in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp is output same battery pack here also for the solar panel so let me explain you the one direction so one way uh, the power generation from the utilization of the grid for DC and AC so when we place the heat under this uh, platform the thermoelectrical effect will convert the uh, thermal energy to electrical energy and that was input to the voltage sensor to measure the voltage and current by using this Arduino you know, board and the parallelly to this bug boost charge controller 12 volt battery and from there to the DC grid here 12 volts LED is DC grid this is the on off switch for the DC grid parallelly that is input to the inverting circuit which represent the AC grid so inverting circuit will do 12 volts DC to 12 volts AC initially and the next stage is step up transformer will do the uh, 12 volts AC to 230 volts of AC that is input to the 230 volts AC load here so this is for the thermoelectric generator section same for the solar panel also the output of the solar panel is parallelly input to this voltage sensor and bug boost converter and after that charge controlling circuits from there to the same 12 volts 2 amp battery pack and output is connected to the DC load and AC load through this inverting circuits so the two total uh, two powers uh, like a uh, thermoelectric generator and solar panel voltage continuously monitored by the UNO board and it will send the same data to the mobile phone application by using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and also same status displayed on the LCD screen. So here the main purpose of this project is previously that existing system was like separately separately monitoring section and separately separately controlling section was present and now we are what we are doing is using only one controller we are monitoring the both voltages at a time based on that for example if the solar panel is sufficient voltage then uh, we are going to making the battery fully charged and also same thing for the filter effect also we are going to controlling and monitoring the same voltage and current from this one so in proposed system what we uh, like uh, getting from the, from the proposed base paper is they are using the cooling water and hot water for the Peltier effect what but that is going to be the only water based heating and cooling one now we made this one waste power generation also from uh, power generation from the wastage also if we burn any wastage like a plastic or a papers under this platform the generated heat is going to be converted into electrically electricity so that is the our main proposed system in this version means we are going to generate the power from the wastage also that will be same monitor and controlling by this micro Arduino you know so controlling nothing but using the bug boost converter whenever the voltage is not sufficient to charge this battery because we are getting less voltage from this one and uh, when the heat is less and same from the solar panel also when there is no more sunlight from the solar panel then we get the less voltage in order to boost that to make the sufficient voltage to make this battery fully charged we need to use this bug boost converter so the bug converter is when we place the solar panel under the full sunlight during the like around one or two o'clock in the afternoon then it will generate the 18 volts though it is a 12 volt solar panel it can generate the maximum rated voltage of 12 volts so then sorry maximum rated voltage of 18 volts 12 volts is in the mag, uh, actually average voltage from the solar panel 18 volts is the maximum voltage so when we get the 18 volts there is a loss of 
voltage and when we neglect that voltage current also will be losses so in order to maintain the maximum power we are going to use the buck operation for this solar panel section right so let us see the demonstration so we are providing power supply for this arduino board from this adapter so it will take 230 volts ac input and provide as a 5 volts dc output so the very first setup is uh, step is we need to uh, install the application in your mobile phone and uh, after that only we can monitor the voltage of solar panel and filter effect so for that we need to install this juice ssh application as well as network analyzer application so this is juice application and network analyzer application right so network analyzer application and the next juice ssh application so using these applications we can get the data can be monitored so let me delete and we'll show you the from starting onwards okay after installation of these apps then go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 5987 configure that to 5987 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 after enabling the hotspots now you can on the power supply to the cage to this arduino section there we actually when we pack this we are going to disconnect these two there you write the s and s also and this is going to be the t for the thermal electrical generator right so you can see one device got connected and now go to network analyzer application options lan scan do the scan from there we will get the ip address of our espresso nothing but there is going to be the esp8266 wifi module ip address and now when we open this application it will show you like this manage connections and plus here type is telnet address is ip address which we got from that application and the next 8080 is a port number now click on that so automatically we are continuously streaming the data of voltage which is generated from the solar panel and all so if we place any torch light on the solar panel we will get the more voltage which now let us see the so when the lighting is increasing on the solar panel surface so the voltage also increasing right so no lighting voltage is less so we can get the maximum of 18 volts when we place this under the sunlight so there you can see the same status on this lcd also right so now let us see the heating effects waste power generation from this thermoelectric plates Let's place the heating to this. Slowly, once the heating reaches certain level, it will get the voltage. Right now we can see the voltage is getting from the TEG, the thermoelectric generator. So when the heat is keep on increasing, parallelly the voltage will also increases. So while just you are uh, when you are heating that, you should take care of the wires. And uh, there we are provided the alternating charger for the batteries also. So that is from this transformer. So if uh, right, if you want to charge a battery. whenever uh, there is no like uh, heating or sunlight is available just connect the b at this b slot on this power supply to the transformer here we can see the charge indication so now the battery is charging with the uh, transformer it will take uh, 8 hours to be fully charged so same for this also there we have the one more two pin just connect that right now see the dc loads same here also 